Yo, what is up? I am live. I went, I went live like super, 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 super fast. None of y'all are even here yet. I don't even care. Yeah, I gotta make sure everything's set up properly. Cause I knew the Iron Man was starting, but I was, I was testing, I was testing and I was slacking, but okay. So they definitely started off with Queen, Discard, Dump, Ghost Search Out, Skull Guardian, Normal Diviner, the Valor, Activate Barrier. Okay. And then, Okay, Every, everything looks set up to me. All right, sweet, cool. So now, I guess I guess I should turn the light on. I guess I should turn the light on. It is very dark in here. Yeah, it's gonna be a long iron, man. Okay, so this iron man is $200 a head. And look, look at the first two people. We got Bill Way versus Sean Killian. Like I knew I needed to stream this. $200 a head. And we got Bill Way versus Sean Killian. Actually, I should I should probably change the title because it's not even a four hundred dollar Iron Man. It's eight hundred dollar Iron Man. Okay, there we go. So, what's the record in the Iron Man? Just started. Okay. Okay. So. No, no problem. No problem. Okay. So Bill Way is playing the voiceless voice deck. Uh, I know he topped a regional with this deck recently, so he obviously knows what he's doing with it. Anyone that's playing this deck at a competitive level has to know this deck extremely well. Oh yeah. They asked. We delivered. God, yes. Wait. It, is Jib streaming right now? Did, did I mess up? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't mess up. I didn't mess up. They asked we deliver 2v2, 100 ahead. Oh, 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 it's only 100 ahead now? Okay, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. So I was right with the first one. I was told, I told it was 200 ahead before. God, yes. Oh my god, his hand was crazy. Branded Fusion to go dump. Also, this is a really, really, really strong end board. Holy, they're going to use the effects, shuffle back, go summon out the old man Sir Arvis. They have, on the opponent's turn, they have Mirror Jade, Skull Guardian, so Mirror Jade Interruption, Skull Guardian uh, Interruption, uh, they have Tierra's Tribute to Summon Pop a card, they have Trap Interruption, they'll have Sir Arvis Interruption, so there's already 5 Interruptions plus whatever non-engine they have. Hey, shout out to GG Freeman 90 for the sub, appreciate you, said what decks are playing? Uh, we have no idea, I mean... Okay, so obviously this one's voiceless voice, and then the opponent is okay. Uh, the opponent's most likely on Pure Snake Eye. We've seen Sean Killian play a lot. These are two players that are known. Sean Killian has not dropped an Iron Man in two weeks, and I'll I'll remind you, he's played an Iron Man every single day besides on Thursdays. So that is how many Iron Mans like. He's played, he's just, it's like 11 or something. He's like 11 and 0 in Iron Man's. So he's up like, I don't even know how much money. Over $1,000 in the last two weeks off Iron Man's alone. Which is, that, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Especially if you're not playing like, you know, 250s ahead or anything like that. Or anything crazy like that. Uh, he's won a lot. And then Bill Way is known as like the old janitor. So can, can the old beat the new? That is the question. Sean Killian's been playing really well, but Bill Way already wins game one uh, very, very easily there. Got the open full combo. Easily playing through the hand traps there. Made the Valor on Diviner look stupid, because then we just got to leave it on field for Tierras. It's, it almost looked like that's what we wanted to happen. Like, it didn't hurt our end board at all. Like, we were actually ending on the same thing, even if they didn't Valor or if they did Valor that. But now... Yeah, now we got Voiceless Voice going second. This is where the deck struggles, because... Okay, yeah, we're going to Ash Bonfire, just absolutely praying there. Uh, do they... Do they... Oh, okay, I was going to say, we're praying for a draw, too. But obviously, it's not happening there. So look at the hand. I wish we could see what was in it, too. But they're going to hit back pre-prep. Okay, so there's probably no more hand traps then, right? Yeah, probably no more hand traps. If they had multiple hand traps, they probably wouldn't have even Ash Bonfire. I think that's like safe to assume. So they're gonna hit back pre preps. So that means they have three engine cards in hand. Now Sean Killian just needs to be able to combo here. Just summon Snake Eye Ash. Witch in the Snake Eye Ash. 
anything like that so that way we can build an actual end board because uh, it's going to be hard for them to push through that but uh, how are y'all doing how are y'all doing y'all having a good time i know this is like a late stream and i didn't give like any warnings or anything like that but i i felt i felt like i had to stream this one just because of who it was just because it was Bill Way versus Sean Killian. And to see if Bill Way will be able to beat Sean Killian off his winning streak. But I was also told before this that it was going to be $200 a head. But it's only $100 a head. So it's sorry, thinking the whole line through. Yep, which is fair enough. I mean, you don't want to, like, commit to, like, the first, like, two, three actions. And then, and then think your whole line through again. If anything, that'll just take longer. And you're you're more likely to mess up. And this is Iron Man, so people will, will let their opponents take a little bit more time to think, in hopes that they also let them have a little bit more time to think, because then this is like pretty much like the best testing that you can get. Uh, cause, well, I should say best gameplay that you can get. Uh, so they're gonna go ahead discard Baldrick, summon out Black Witch. Okay, discards Baldrick there. So it definitely means the other card in hand is a a combo card, right? If they had to think through their line and they're doing it like this. Or maybe they're thinking about holding Ball Drake to use this to try to like make Savage or something uh, with formula. But okay, now they're just going to go, yeah, original, Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, Divine Temple, Uck. Yep, 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 doing that very fast there. They know the opponent's hand, no hand traps. Okay, so Snake Eye Ashton. I've been playing a ridiculous amount of pure Snake Eye. Like, to the point to where, like, it's probably too much pure Snake Eye testing. So, I mean, I can't tell exactly what they're doing here. I got, unless, okay, I was going to say, unless it's, like, normal Valor to make formula first. But, like, we probably don't need to, like, I mean, okay, we know their hand. We know they're not going to, we know, okay, well. Holy, let me get my words out. We know that we don't need to Baron early to beat a potential rock in their hand because we know what's in their hand. But that's fine because we could still go for it early here and then just build our board next to it because now we go Baron and then summon back out. Like, you can do the same combo if you open, like, Black Witch plus Valor or Black Witch plus Jut Synchron. Uh, now if you have cross out, then you do it differently because then you can afford to go for a more dangerous combo, but they could have done that here. So I'm trying to think on why they're doing it like this. Cause what do they do now? Are they trying to make like IP princess, princess effect, summon back out flame burge? Then what? Discard to summon out Jet Synchron. Make Hita. Hita take Ash. And then Celine Apo. Something like that. Yeah. That's probably just what they're going to do here. Okay. So effect bring back out from the graveyard. Then they can use that effect. To go ahead. Spell Trap Zone. It also helps that the opponent has Ash here. Otherwise, and that we had Jet Synchron. So that's like two extra bodies compared to normal in this spot. But they're going to go ahead, discard, special out. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so this is definitely just going to be, you know, he does Selene Apo for sure. There's no shot we're just going to make like Raging Phoenix World C here. Especially with how good Apo is against the Voiceless Voice Duck. And especially when you know everything they have. Like if they have Talents, then... Maybe you could do this differently, or you just save Baron absolutely four talents. Yep, yep, yep. Go up into that. So now we have Baron, IP, Apo, Princess. We know the opponent's hand. They only have four cards, and they're playing Voiceless Voice. So that's just game. Uh, so we'll be going on to the next game here. Unless, unless we do like Dark Ruler. Even then, they still have, like, Princess IP, which is still kind of a lot against three cards. Yeah, just go to the next game. Okay, so... I don't I don't know who's on their teams. I know Sean Killian plays by himself a lot. So it's probably just two pure Snake Eye and a 2v2. If it was a 3v3, then maybe we could see, like, two pure Snake Eye and a Dragon. But it's, it's almost guaranteed going to be two pure Snake Eye. 
and then Bill Way's team is almost going to like be guaranteed a voiceless voice and a pure snake eye. Unless if his team truly believes that voiceless voice is the absolute best deck, then it'll be two of it. But I feel like it'd be kind of crazy to join the Iron Man without a snake eye deck. Or, 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 it's like Runic Stun is the second deck. Or something like that. Something trolly. That deck that deck's been doing well recently, which uh is kinda scary. I wish that deck wasn't doing well, cause that's not the type of deck I want to play against at a YCS. I, I know how to play against it very well, but sometimes it doesn't matter if you know how to play against it well. Cause you actually just have to like draw well most of the time. And you can like access code pop under skill drain, you know, little stuff like that that can help out. But okay, now this game we're gonna start with barrier. Uh sure. Yeah, his opponent's not going to stop that. If they have Ash, they're most likely just going to do it on the Safara Queen. So they're going to search out low. Okay. Yeah, nothing on Rose. We know that Sean Killian does play draw. So they just didn't draw any of these games. Uh, so activate. Okay, now activate the Queen effect. Discard. Dump. Go search. Mm -hmm. Grab out Skull Guardian. We have normal low. I guess, I guess you could Skull Guardian first, yeah. Yeah, you definitely Skull Guardian first there in case they do steal the low. Then we can Skull Guardian just search out low. So now, one, two. Chain Bistial. Aw, oh, it's Magma Mott. That's tough. That's tough. That's definitely the best one there. So, Banish, they go search, and then they get Magma Mott effect to go search during the end phase. That's fine, so search out low. We still have normal low effect, bring out trap. And Skull Guardian's alive. We have trap that can put back, bring out the old man. But there's gotta be more than that that we can do, right? Maybe we have like a branded fusion. We are viewing our extra deck some here. Uh, are you going to Raleigh? Yep, yep, yep. I will be going to, I'm going to Raleigh, Indy, and Nats. Uh, th those three events I'm already like confirmed for. So I'll be at, I'll be at all those for sure. They're gonna go normal summon out low. Actually, I actually can't wait for YCS. Can't wait for YCS. It's been so long. I haven't played in a YCS since what, like October? Yeah, like halfway through October. So it's like seven months when this YCS hits. Seven months is crazy without a YCS. It's literally just because like I couldn't go to Vegas. And then, well, I guess I guess I did skip Richmond. That's because that that was so expensive, like so expensive. I had to skip Vancouver too because it was so expensive. The flights are like five hundred something dollars, and the hotels were expensive. It's like I just couldn't even do it. I never played in a YCS, but I'll be there. God yes, God yes. No, I mean y YCSs are fun for sure. You know, obviously I hope you do well, but. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, if you don't, uh, you know, side events, side events, you know, tickets, tickets can be good. Or if you're not even playing in the main event, uh, side events, the tickets in those are worth, you know, decent money. You can get rid of those, flip them, uh, you know, try to pay back for the trip. Oh my gosh, they had Brain Fusion. Oh my gosh, Bill Way is so talented. Or if you play Speed Duels, um, that's not like that hard. And it's also like, you know, if you don't know how to play it, it doesn't cost really that much money to get into. It's like $10 for a duck. Uh, DB Grinder knows all about side events. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my god, of course. So if I talk about side events one time and Cam the Man Neo hops in here. Just has to talk his shit. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve it. I actually, I do know all about side events. I do. But I never play side events like in IRL tournaments. I only play them like for remote duel ones, like the remote duel like extravaganzas and stuff like that. Cause like, I don't, I don't care for remote duel extravaganzas. Like, I, I don't, I wouldn't really consider that like a top for myself. So I wouldn't care if I did, did well or did bad in it. Well, obviously I'd want to do well, but the side events are just like free money for those. That's why I got like multiple giant cards behind me. So our plan was to go and if we bum out day two, try to find uh, a pre-release. Oh, true. Yeah, I forgot. That is like a 
pre-release day. Yeah, actually, I know, yeah, there'll be a pre-release. Actually, I don't know if there'll be a pre-release there, because I know the side deck has, like, a locals that's near there. But I, I don't think they'll be open, though, just because they're hosting the YCS. There's actually no shot. They hit Solemn Strike there, too. So they hit Solemn Strike, they had Branded Fusion, they had Combo. That's, that's pretty good. But honestly, it's not a like guaranteed game, though. It is very, very solid, though. Uh, they do have Trap, Put Back, Bring Out the Sararvis guy that can tag it out. Uh, Ultimate Time Wizard for Raleigh. Uh, I know they do. Uh, they do Edison and Goat. I know that for sure. And then they'll probably run a Tengu one too, just because a lot of people have been playing that. But I'm not playing Ultimate Time Wizard. Nah, I, I can't. I'm not gonna lie. The only like the old formats that I like, they don't even do like Time Wizard for. Like, hat format, 2015, stuff like that. I don't know. I, I I like those formats a lot. I play Dragon Ruler, but I don't like it that much. It's, like, kind of mid. Especially if you're playing it competitively. Then everyone's just going to be playing 3 max C3 Vanities. They're going to be playing, like, all the unfun cards. Oh, okay. I mean, we stop that. Yeah. We definitely stop that. We have, we have Trap plus Solemn Strike. There's no shot we're letting this go through. Yeah, definitely shut that down. I hope they do hat. Like, the only way they do hat, or, like, the only way they do other formats other than Goat and Edison is if, like, enough people ask for it. Like, if they have eight people walk up and go, hey, I want to play tier format for retro, then they'll run a tier format one. They're fine with it. You just have to, like, have eight people to walk up and say that they want to do it. But you, you can definitely get it, especially if you just, like, Walk through the line if they have a line. Oh wait, they, there won't be a line though. Never mind, there won't be a line because it's actually hosted by a good tournament organizer. Well, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say it's hosted by a good tournament organizer. I hate how long they take the ship stuff for remote duel, like any remote duel things. I've been waiting like three months for my prizing, and I know I'm gonna have to wait another three months, bare minimum, bare minimum. Okay, so they're gonna go Druid Swim, go Banish, but they do they do their stuff online, so it's easy to sign up, and there's like no line for it, which is really good, especially compared to like YCS Niagara Falls. That was actually such a bust when it came to side events. What match game is this? This is match one, game one. I mean game three. Match one, game three. Uh, Bill Way has Psalm Strike set, and we know the opponent has the Druid Swim that they're activating right there, targeting the low. And that is all we know. Okay, so they're going to go ahead, chain, bounce back, go summon. So, the Mirror Jade can be targeted by card effects. So, I mean, they could Druid's Room try to out that if they link off. So, we probably just Mirror Jade try to out something now before it... Ah, you don't have to, right? No, you actually definitely just let that go. Yeah. I was going to say, there's no shot you Sir Arvis negate, because then Jerusalem just trades with Mirror Jade. So you just let them make, like, a Link 2. They go Jerusalem on Mirror Jade. And then you can chain Mirror Jade. But I guess if it's SP, then you just don't chain Mirror Jade. Okay, so they're just going to make Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, now this. This we can stop. We can just stop that. Right now. Uh, what do you think of Legacy of Destruction so far? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't I haven't looked into it that much. I just been uploading content on it because a lot of people were kind of sick and tired of this format, and also it's like cool to watch those decks. Uh, I want to watch more of the decks too, but I've only really looked into Ten Pi. That's really it. I've looked at Lightsworn a little bit, but I don't, that deck's not real, at least from what I've seen so far. So I don't know. The Ten Pi deck, the Ten Pi Dragon deck is cool. I think it'll be like fine against Snake Eye because of how much non engine it can play. Uh, but then the deck's also kind of weird because, like, imagine it's like, you know, you're doing well in a tournament and then your opponent says you go first. Like, after they win the dice roll, like, you'd be sick. So you have to, like, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought that far with the deck yet. Uh, now you're right. Alternative universe side events were horrible. Over the speaker's announcements and the line for Edison easily went 100 feet. 
Yeah, I remember YCS Niagara. I thought about playing a side event, and somebody was like, yeah, they said it's like a two-hour wait in the line. I said, I am not doing that. <laughs> I will be going ahead and doing something else. Nah, you service the Phoenix and service again to stop the Druid Swarm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now they're just gonna Imper Mirjid, that's fine. I mean, yeah, we definitely just win this game, right? We have Strike, Trap, Skull Guardian. Sure. Divine Temple's fine. There's no shot you stopped this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no shot you stopped this. We have so many interruptions. We still have Mir- well, we still have Mirjid dumb. It's not gonna do anything though, they don't play two elbows. So this is game. Uh, when I went to Nats last year, I only did one LCQ because the amount of time it took to get in. I think that was hosted by the side deck. I don't remember. But day one of Nats is kind of hectic. Just because there's like infinite people trying to, you know, get all their stuff. And then he used Skull Guardian on Duster. Oh, true, true, true. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, that's my bad. That's my bad. My bad. I, I was testing a lot before this. So my brain's a little bit mush a little bit mush also I, th I think it was last year no it wasn't last year at Nats it was the year before when the fire alarm got pulled there wasn't even a fire but somebody just pulled it it's kind of crazy though pulling the fire alarm to activate bonfire go search sure we have a normal yet but Strike is a good card. Strike is a very good card. I guess that's not a guaranteed game though. If we flip strike. It's just like, it's like odds are we just win off this though. But it's not a guaranteed game. They could still have like, Black Witch. And then... Yeah, I was gonna say like Black Witch Poplar. And now all we have is like Trap to pop for one. Okay, now. Nah. Okay, both players opened like almost the best hands possible. But I like that. At least one player didn't open Broken and the other player didn't. So Spell Trap's unpopular. Go ahead, set original. And then they're thinking, cause. Huh, what do they wanna do here? Cause they could like use this. Pop original. Then all they have is like original search poplar, summon poplar. And what does that do? That's just like two blank bodies at that point, right? Uh, you sign my Liebermancer card while waiting for the fire alarm clearance. Was it a Liebermancer fire? <laughs> Gosh, I. That, it was wild. It sucked too, because my buddy was in the finals of a tournament. Like, he was in the finals of the tournament, and then it got canceled. It's like, he was so sick, because he was about to win. It was one of the last chance qualifier things. And, like, he's he's not, like, you know, I'm not, not going to sit here and cap. He's not, like, crazy at the game. He's not crazy at the game. Um, he definitely fumbled a couple of regionals throughout the year. But then, like, you know, he would have got his invite, too, because, like, he was just he was in a winning position. So unfortunate. Uh, same lost in the final round of it. Didn't have time to enter another. Uh, ho hopefully it's ran better next year. Or I guess this year at Nats. Hopefully it's ran better. So that way people can get into more of them. Because I know it used to be you can get into a lot of them easily. Okay, now they're going to link off. But I guess you also got to get there like early. Like as soon as you can. Okay, linked off with SP, sure. Yeah. Do they play Sky Crisis by any chance? Battle phase, beat over low. Sure. I guess this isn't the worst spot. We know that they only have the old man in hand and they can't summon it. They just don't have any follow up themselves right now. So. Yeah, pass, but Mirror Jade's gonna be like a live interruption to go ahead and be able to out something. So they can't activate SP, otherwise we can out it. So if we drew something that's playable, we just win. 
This is still at 41 while this is engraved. That's like almost game right there. Not quite though. Uh, how's Sean Killian be cooking so much? Hey, they've been playing nice. You know, they've been playing nice. A lot of people say like this format is just like, you know, hand trap, win or hand trap or don't hand trap and lose. Which I mean, it can be like that sometimes. But you know, there's definitely skill in the format for sure. If there wasn't, then you wouldn't see someone like Christian Arena get top four like every YCS this format. I, I hate when people say it's like a unskillful format. I feel like we haven't had like an unskillful, like even the unskillful formats are still a little bit skillful. But I feel like we haven't had like a like an almost unskillful format since like Pendulum FTK. Where that was kind of just like, you know, that was actually like, did you draw the hand trap or not? Because if you didn't, you actually just lost. And the combo was so easy to open. Okay, they're going to make, oh... Huh. They tribute summon for this. Which I guess gives them summon... Okay, so if the opponent activates Divine Temple, we chain this, bounce back, then we summon out low, so they can't do anything there. Okay. 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 Yeah. So we just do that, pass. And that gives us... One interruption. They said one top deck. Ah. Do they draw it? Said please no. Uh, tier format was peak level skill. Yeah, tier format was nice. Said my friend Paul. Oh my god, bro, you just reminded me. I forgot once again to make it. Well, let me grab my pen. I gotta add the voice thing to that to where it says something. I forgot that again. I literally changed everything but that. Uh. I mean, sure, I guess that's another draw. You just. Yeah, I mean, they have Divine Temple Summon. Okay, so you definitely do this now, right? You definitely chain this now, because if you don't, then they go Wanted, put back Original, draw one, and then whenever you do that, they get Divine Temple to Summon Poplar, and Poplar will be able to use its effect to go search. But I guess Black Witch will set this anyways. But you'll have... You could go for Skull Guardian or Sir Arvis. It's probably just Skull Guardian... Low, bring out spell. It's only one interruption. It's like, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. So let's uh, think on what we go for here. Yeah, uh, said so mine unbanned question mark? Nah, I, I don't know. Like, I was like fine with Mystic Mine, but at the same time, that card definitely just shouldn't be in the game. That card should have never been printed. Should have never been printed. I liked it when people used it in a cool way, not when they like sat on it. Like when, you know, when people sat on Mystic Mind the whole game, like, yeah, that was boring. But there were definitely times where it was like cool. Like if you're a dweller to you and you're like, haha, Mystic Mind, and then I'll sit on this for a couple turns and then combo, like, sure, but that card's toxic. It should have never came out. Oh, uh, would you still show this Iron Man in the OG channel via replays? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, wait, the OG channel? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, record over this, uh, and put it on, like, the DB Grinder. I'm gonna put this on, like, the DB Grinder stream YouTube channel, though. Because, like, uh, it'd be boring, right? Like, if I already know how every match goes, and then I just go over it. It may also, like, change the way I commentate it. Uh, have a regional this weekend, but they're gonna play no flood in the side of Snake Eyes. Seen everyone playing outs like Fenrir you're in the cash version. Maybe two towns called by is just better right now. Yeah, you definitely don't have to play floodgates. It's like fine to not play floods. You could just play like the talents and stuff to try to hit the hand traps. Well, to play through the hand traps. You know, assuming you're already main deck and cross out. Obviously, you don't need the side deck that. But it's like, it's like, okay. It's okay to not play the Floods. Well, oh, okay, summon them. Imagine Tribute summoning. I mean, I don't know. Tribute, tribute summon was not bad. Was not bad. But at the same time, like, I don't know. Maybe we were supposed to go for Dino Mondo instead. And then Dino Mondo spin back divine temple the chain divine temple summon poplar and then we still have dino mondo tribute the special back out from the graveyard 
And they can't the steal loss. Because we'll have no bodies. Wow, that's not true. Because they can Bastille low. Never mind. I guess either way we lose to Bastille though. So that's just not real. Ah, we don't even lose to Bastille. Because they can't start with a... Okay. Nah. Yeah, I think... Okay. Okay, so we summon out. They summon out. Sure. Now we get a low effect to go place. So... They have Black Witch Send Summon. Effect goes set. The original that we're gonna put back off wanted. Kinda tough. You think Talents is getting hit? Probably not. I don't like that card though. Like I don't think I don't think that card should be in the game. The card's toxic. Being able to see the entire opponent's hand is crazy. Uh three cross out, three talents, one called by three fender going uh first sounds crazy to me to be honest. Yeah, like that's definitely good. It's definitely good. Uh, maybe, it uh, depends also, I mean, you could put, like, Lullaby of Obedience in two for, like, mirror matches, for more engine, more extenders. Uh, then they get back to Temple, though. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. They do get back to Temple. Does that matter, though, if they get back to Temple? I guess there's just a better way to do it. Yeah, yeah, I guess this is the better way to do it. And just pray. I guess we're really just praying at the end of the day. If we're able to stop this. Which, I don't know, it doesn't, I'm not, I'm not too confident in their ability to be able to stop this right now. So they wanted, and then they Skull Guardian, stop it. So now all they have is Summon Black Witch by sending. They have, what, Dark Charmer, take... They have Princess. I guess they don't have anything else though, so they don't have anything good to summon off Princess. So what, uh, Princess summon this, Link 4, uh, Raging Phoenix, World C, no, it doesn't do anything, you won't have another body. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, they don't have any fires for Hida. What would you even do here? Because you have to do a decent amount. The opponent has follow-up off a of barrier. Okay, so summon, send, effect. Sure. That's fine. Go ahead, set wanted from the deck. Uh, is the new summon sorceress still good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's definitely good. Okay, so we're just gonna make Hita and then crash. Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can crash. Still have enough life points to do that. Okay, yeah. That's good. Yeah, definitely just crash there. And then we can search uh, Ash. No, probably search Oak. Yeah, search Oak. Oak can summon back out. Then we have Flame Bird. Then we have Flame Bird that can end up spell trap zoning. I can't target their stuff yet. Uh, we already went through SP and Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, okay. They're getting somewhere here. Summon, bring out, Oak Sun and Self plus Pop. Yeah, that's definitely just Flame Birds there. You can't go for Snake Eye Ash. Come on. I'm just trying to think, what do they do from there that, like, actually outs the field? Oh, access code. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, I was just overthinking that. Yeah, they definitely play access code, right? We saw it on their list before. They don't play Sky Crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, they. Play, I'm pretty sure they play access code still. If they do, then, yeah, they can, they can definitely out the board. They don't even have like ritual spell or graveyard or anything to force them to have like an extra pop. Okay, yeah, this is looking good for Sean Killian then here. But Bill Way could still potentially top deck out of it if all they end on is access code. Yeah, then anybody really wins them the game then, right? Because they could just Sky Crisis. Ah, wait, but they did Pot of Prosperity, so they probably got rid of Sky Crisis. And if they did. Then obviously that would not work. 
Um. I mean, you could also. Princess. Wait, hold on. Effect. Spell travels on. Won't even matter. Link off. Wait, tribute. Okay. Tribute, bring out Link Karibo. Make Dark Charmer. Flame Burge, two bodies. Dark Charmer for Mirajade. It's like three bodies underneath plus a Dark Charmer. Mirajade plus Charmer. Make Princess. Princess, summon out Flame Burge. A Lame Burge effect to spell in Trap Zone. I don't think it matters what you spell in Trap Zone. Okay. But then we don't have like a good fire to make there because we already went through Hita and Nightmare Phoenix. So I don't think we can go in the Princess. Yeah, I don't think we can go in the Princess. Wait, that's not entirely true though. Because we do have Celine still. No. Nah. That won't work. Okay. Activate Flame Bridge effect to go ahead and spill Trap Zone. Target your Sararvis. Okay. Targets their Sararvis. Sure. I'm not too sure what they're cooking here now. So, make IP Flame Bridge effect. Summon back out from the graveyard. Sure, sure. That's fine. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't go for Charmer. I don't know, I don't know. Sean Killian's the one that's up like a band in the last two weeks and not me, so I guess let him cook. IP plus Oak, Link off, go up in the Selene, Selene effect, summon back out. I guess you just do it like this. Okay, sure. I guess it's fine to do the combo like this instead, so that way we have Poplar that works with Link Karibo. So wait, how'd you make that? Wait, oh, they can't make that. Yeah, they didn't use Prince, I mean, they didn't use Black Witch. Yeah. They needed to go for Dark Charmer. I mean, they can still go into Dark Charmer though and just do that next anyways. Definitely a misplay. Should have made Dark, brought back Mirror Jade and made access to. Yeah, definitely should have been Dark Charmer to bring back out. And then make access code. You just have to leave like a link Karibo there for sure. But you could probably also. Uh, I wanted to find a way to leave this. I don't think you can. Also, spell trapping, trap zoning this is so weird. This card doesn't do anything when you spell trap zone it. Like, you can't use it. I guess it makes it so the opponent can't use it. Okay, so Dark Charmer, take, sure, that's fine. Selene, access code, pop. Leave the pop lore there for Link Karibu to protect us from a potential Sky Crisis off like a top deck hand trap. Mm-hmm, that's fine. And then, yeah, we definitely have, we have the three attributes for sure. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Pop their whole field, besides the Sir Harvest that we put there. And then that's looking pretty good. So now it's just, what did Bill weigh top deck? Sean Killian drew crazy there. Drawing Wanted there was actually, like, perfect. So, banish, pop, banish, pop, banish, pop. That is fine. And then... They're definitely going to pop this, right? There's no shot you leave it there. Yeah, I was going to say, no, no shot you leave the body there. Okay. Uh, definitely just pass. Yeah, we're not going to use those for anything. Okay. Did, Bill, Way, draw, good. Are you him? Said, I don't know. Uh. I mean, all we got to do is, uh. Discard. Yeah, okay. What? Discard, queen, activate, barrier. We got something like that? We got normal Valor. Make Anima. 
Anima effect attack. That's <laughs> wait, that's just game. That's pretty good as long as we have Sky Crisis. Yep, that's game. Ha! Yeah, they are him. The Valor was crazy. If it was Ash, it wouldn't work. But the Valor does work, because they just bounce back. It doesn't target. They link Karibo, sure. Poplar spell traps him, doesn't do anything. Yep, that's game. And we know the set's wanted off of the Black Witch. Yep. Summon out. They definitely summon multiple times from the extra deck last turn. That falls off, doesn't even matter. Wow. 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 And if Sean Killian didn't mess up, that would not have worked there. Because they would have actually still had a Mirror Jade on their field. And then Sky Crisis would not have been able to attack directly. Because they could have kept the Mirror Jade there. So, you know, slight mistake making IP over Dark Charmer. And it cost them the game there to an effect Valor. Yeah, and they're trying to see if there's a way to still win this, but obviously there's no interaction. So please admit the feat. Come on now. Let's not waste time here, folks. Tell them, DBG. Hey, all, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is I make that Dark Charmer there. That's all I'm saying. I make that Dark Charmer there. You could have just killed me. I was at 49. Uh... Who's next? Wait. Could they have killed? Wait, what'd they go to battle phase for last turn? Whatever, they're, they're gonna take a second to get into that game, so I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna look at that game three again real quick. It was main phase two. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. If they said that you can kill them, I want to see what they mean by that, you know? I just want to check. I want to check over. We got we got, we got, got a minute until the next game starts. Tahita search. Yeah, yeah. But they said that you could kill. So... Did they have... They had Mirror Jade and Grave, right? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just check over their work real quick, you know? Let's just, let's just see, let's just see. Is there a world where we didn't need to heat a search? Because if they had Mirror Jade and Grave, they might just say like, why didn't you just go Selene access code pop battle phase game? Instead of trying to combo. Which might be the case. Because this was in Graveyard, right? Pretty sure that they could have actually won now that they say it, since they were only at 49. They are too busy on trying to combo, not too busy focusing on just putting the life points down to zero and extending the handshake. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get there. But okay, it's coming up in like two seconds now. Yup, yup, yup. I'm not, I'm not going to commentate over this, we just watch this, come on now. But I'm going to commentate over this in two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah, so they went ahead. Poke, poke, tribute. Yeah, okay. So right here. Okay, they bounced. They summoned. They searched. Summon, summon, spell. Yeah. Yeah, they actually did just have game. Yeah, they did just mess up. Because, like, why make Hita? Why not just go... Wait. But they only had... Wait. <laughs> Uh, they didn't, they didn't have enough attributes though, right? Yeah, they didn't have enough attributes. So let's say they go Dark Charmer, take Mirror Jade, then Selene Access Code. That's only two pops. That's not a game. Okay. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure they just didn't have game there and that they needed to go Hita. Oh, jeez, they played that fast. Okay, whatever. So... Yeah, we see voiceless voice, combo. They impermed at some point. They simply played through it. Bill Way is simply him. Uh, Poplar was bounced to hand. Is it still added? Or is it still treated as added to hand? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wait. You're right. <laughs> they could have just Poplar summoned itself out. 
They messed up a lot there. I'm not gonna lie. They messed up a lot there. They could have Pop Lord kept themselves alive and then they win. They could have. Oh my gosh. They could have summoned. They could have summoned Mirror Jade survived. They could have just summoned Pop Lord back out survived. Sean Killian is not playing clean tonight, boys. Maybe, maybe it is the time for Sean Killian to lose the dominance and finally lose an Iron Man. Man is up too much. Literally went to the bank to cash the checks the other day. Okay, they're gonna go. Okay, so they went bonfire, search, summon. So they probably have like oak in hand or something. If they're doing it like this. Activate Divine Temple to go spell trap zone. Said Sean washed. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Nah, there's no shot. There's no shot. It, it, I, I, like, Sean's been playing crazy nice recently. That was like a fluke right there. But maybe that's just what Bill Way needs to win. It's a fluke. But okay, we got Blaze X LOL sub with the Prime. Thank you. I appreciate you. God, yes. Just out here watching this good old Iron Man. Between two Iron Man goats. Gonna go wanted, grab out Black Witch. Sure, that's fine. That is indeed fine. I don't know, low-key, low low-key. I kinda want Iron Man versus Sean Killian. So I kinda hope he wins this to keep the undefeated record. Yeah, actually, actually, high key, I'm voting for Sean Killian to win this. If Sean Killian wins this, I'm telling him I'm Iron Manning him tomorrow. Swear to God. Enjoy your YouTube content. I appreciate that. Appreciate you. Yeah, the 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 Iron Man's and the streams aren't as good as they are on YouTube just because there is a lot of thinking that is done. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I had to stream this one just because of who it was between. But honestly, I hope Sean Killian wins now. Once I started thinking about that, like I don't know, that sounds like content right there. Sounds like content right there. And, and, I know who I would choose to be my teammate. I would choose Sean Pittman, and I would send him up first. The Battle of the Shans, the first match. I'd send him up first, do Battle of the Shans right away. Because this time, this time, this time Sean Pittman would win. The Battle of the Shans. But, okay, they're thinking real hard here now on what they want to do. I mean, they... Pop Temple, which is like fine. Uh, how many people on each team? Uh, it's only a 2v2. It's only a 2v2. And this is the second match now. Bill Way won match number one. So if Sean Killian loses this match right here, he loses the undefeated record in the Ironmans. That would be the real content. Yeah, and, and I already have a good picture that I could show at the beginning of the Ironman too. You know that meme where it's like, Okay, I, how, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? You know where it's like two girls sitting next to each other and one's got big boobs and one doesn't and it says like garlic bread, regular bread? Well, we have that same meme, but we have Sean Pittman and then Sean Killian. So, you know, I, I, could, I could put that meme up there too. That's a good meme. I could put that at the beginning of the video. God, yes. I just, I want to use that in content somewhere. I've thought about it, but I had nowhere good to use it. Bill is a janitor. Unfair matchup, to be honest. Yeah, Bill Bill is a janitor. He do do be cooking in the Iron Man's. Snake Eye Ash. Get hit with Skull Guardian. I mean... Do they have another Black Witch? <laughs> they do, they do. Yep, yep. You can summon another Black Witch if it gets hit with Sir Arvis. Because it negates the summon. So yeah, they're gonna go ahead and summon that, go set original. Okay. Do we see a Ash Blossom on original? All they have is Wanted to draw then. Okay. And they definitely don't have Valor in hand, otherwise they would have just Valored Black Witch. And they would have just scooped. So now it's like they have rock. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they have rock. Okay, so drop rock there before they can bring out a flame burge or anything. They said four summons. Did they mess up? Normal summon pop. 
Bring out Snake Eye Ash. Negate the effect. Black yeah, no, that's five. Yeah. Yeah, that's five. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I, that... I mean, that's game right there. They have want to draw, but it doesn't do anything. They're not going to be able to play through that. Because they have to play through it and end the game. Because the opponent has a lot of follow-ups, so they have to end the game there. Oh my gosh, well, want to draw... What can you even draw? What can you even draw to end the game in this spot? I guess talents into a draw two. Because you need, like, a multi-card combo here. Yeah, they need a multi-card combo here. But there's no, there's no shot. There's no shot to do it. So, that's next game. Sean Killian not looking good right now in this Iron Man. Bill Way is, uh, showing why he's called the janitor. It's not his middle name for nothing. Okay. Next game. Next game. Or just pass turn and put the up. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I was playing, bro. I was playing, bro. I was playing. I was playing. I was playing, bro. I was playing. There's no shot you actually wanted in the talents draw two and get some two card combination to win this game. There's actually no shot. Even now, it's not easy to do, but, like, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not fair. Got second in my regional yesterday. Woo! Bet, bet, what'd you play? What'd you play? Was it just, uh, was it, was it... Okay, okay, they admitted defeat. I was gonna say, was it just, like, Snake Eye, or was it something crazy? Oh, also, shout-out to Shank for the follow. Appreciate you. I can't believe... A going second voiceless. You played going second voiceless voice. That's wild. Uh, is it like the uh, like the oh, I can't think of his name. Luke Tyler build. Is it like the Luke Tyler build? Hey, shout out to Blaze X LOL for the follow. Thank you, thank you. You subbed without even following. You're actually wild. <laughs> I appreciate you though. I appreciate you. Said kind of. Oh, well, yeah, I was gonna say it's kind of crazy that Runic stun won Philly regional. Cause I'm pretty sure that's a. 10 round regional like runic stun won a 10 round regional chain burn got fourth place like bro like what a shout out to mx auto for the follow i xro for the follow thank you thank you okay now last time we saw bonfire get activated the ash blossomed it it looks like it goes through this time grab out snake eye ash anything on resolution nope Okay, normal summon effect. Bam! Imperm. Did you get unlucky? You probably play through this, right? Probably. Yeah, I was gonna say, having the bonfire into it's a little bit worse. Ooh, and discard jet synchron for the black witch summon. Okay, okay. Effect goes up. Uh. Wait. Uh, oh, we deleted it. Oh, yeah, Night Nightbot did not like that. I saw it though. I saw it. Or, yeah. I'll look at that after this. So, where did you see the regional results for Philly? Uh, they're on the spreadsheet. I don't have the link on me right now. But if you go to the video I posted like a week ago. I mean, not even been a week ago. Yeah, like four days ago, where I talked about like the YCS deck lists. It's like the first link in the description. Unless if I forgot to link it. But it's just on the spreadsheet. They post all the deck lists for like all the regionals and YCSs and stuff like that. Super Paluto, who does it? But okay, they make Link Karibo original, send Link Karibo. So now they are protected from. I guess a hand trap on the next play, but they would have just hand trapped Black Witch. Actually, they couldn't hand trap Black Witch, otherwise you summon Jet Synchron. IP Princess summon back out, Sun Sun Poplar original. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. To do it like this. So original in the Oak and the Ash. Oh my gosh. Drops rock once again. Sean Killian. What are you gonna do? You playing through it? I don't think so, buddy. Your time of, you know, absolutely destroying people's wallets is coming to an end, all right? 
It's coming to an end. Yep, in the extra monster zone, of course, they play Anima. That's kind of crazy, though. Sean Killian took match one, took it like a football, and threw it backwards and fumbled it so bad and just lost. Like, oh, it's so tough. Because now this is happening. <laughs> oh, like you must play one match and then you just get absolutely punished. Yeah, they can't play through that there. There's no way Bill Way has like a complete brick here, right? And even if they do, they'll have a bunch of non-engine at least. Or hopefully, they are playing a ritual deck. Okay, normal summon diviner. Diviner effect. Imperm. Shut that down. You just, you just have to, right? I guess I don't know their hand. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Solemn Strike onto it. That's even better. It's a lot better. So now... Okay, does Bill Way have what it takes to combo through this? There's, there's so much that plays through this. Like, pre-prep, queen, uh, like, pro, uh, da, 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 wait, I can't think of the name. Barrier... You know, two card combos play through this too. Like Ritual Spell plus Skull Guardian. Lets you do something through it. But they already normal, so it's actually not even like that good. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's like fine though, because then you get to Queen. Hey, shout out to Palm O Pow. Whoa, get to 10 subs? Yo, what is up? What is up? 10 gifted subs is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I think I think that's actually the most gifted subs I've ever gotten at once. Or if it's not, then it's at least tied with it. But hey, thank you. Uh, appreciate everyone that you gifted a sub to, too. Uh, we got Joshua Fever TV, T, Gig Gamer 18, Mythos, FPS, Foon. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, Legendary, Duda, J Wish, Sanjara. Anchi Mole 2, Julino 222, two, two, and then PPPPPPP. P, 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 P. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. We got infinite capybaras popping up now. God, yes. The capybaras. Wait, did it show different capybaras? That, that is a good capybara video right there. Look at that. A little baby capybara. But okay, okay. Is there, is there more? Okay, yeah, there's still more. There's still more. <laughs> Hardly catch DB streams, only YouTube. Hey, well, I appreciate you. Had to show love. Well, you sh you sh I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like, that's actually just crazy. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I truly do. That's bonkers. Was not expecting to get nearly that many subs tonight. And, okay. So, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I, I, I gotta focus on this a little bit. I gotta focus on this a little bit. But thank you. Thank you. I do. Okay. Uh, okay, so they passed the song strike. Now, the thing is, they still, it's not guaranteed to have multiple non-engine here because they are playing a ritual deck and they could just have, uh, like, blanks in hand. And now they get to put back and go search for Snake Eye Ash. They have Jet Sync Run and Graver. They have Snake Eye Ash. They have Link Kree, but to dodge, like, a set Imperm. So this isn't the greatest spot for Bill Way. Can Sean Killian work it back? Yo, there's no shot. I keep hearing more. How many capybaras are we going to have pop up? That's, like, the 10th. That's gotta be the last one, right? It's gotta be the last one. Yeah, 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 that was the last one. That's not the last one. That's crazy. Oh, but that's a different capybara. I don't know why it's showing a different one there. But, but, <laughs> I like that it's showing a different one. I, I don't know how it does that, though. I wish I knew how to set that up purposely. Because I was on accident. But, Snake Eye Ash, what, okay. Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, Poplar, Divine Temple. That's good. Now we have... Okay, now I don't see them losing. Yeah, Bill Way was not able to play through the Solemn Strike on Diviner there. Solemn Strike on Diviner was kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of crazy. Said, ain't no way. Said, oh, forgot to sub myself. <laughs> You're an animal. I don't even know what to say. Gifted 10 subs but didn't even have a sub for themselves. Crazy. Wait, if you gift subs, do you get to choose who they go to? Or does it just... Or just does it, like, randomly? I actually don't know. Like, I know if you gift one sub, you can choose. But I actually don't know if it works for, like, multiple. 
I'm not sure. But, okay, okay. Activate Divine Temple. Go ahead, spell Trap Zone now. Said you can choose or do random. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, that's sick. That's sick. I didn't know that. But Divine Temple, go ahead, bring out Flame Burge. Now, I don't know how big that token is. It was like Black Witch, Snake Eye, Ash, Oak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was those three. Sean Killian YouTube channel shout out. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, right? No, nah, yeah, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. There's no chance. He, he would have asked me by now. Because he sends me the replays every single time an Iron Man's dumb. He would have definitely asked me by now if I could have shouted it out. Or at least brought it up. Said, yeah, it's not that big. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Now, the token actually is kind of big there, though. I'm not going to lie. Because it's, what, 17 plus 25? It's at 42? I don't know. 42 attack is a lot. It's not like, you know, it's not no 8,000 attack, but it's still good. Uh, he has one. Nah, there's no shot. I'll, I'll ask him about it. I'll ask him about it. But there's no shot they have one. Or at least one that they consistently upload to. But okay, mix Selene, Selene effect, gain counters, lose counters. Summon back out Black Witch. And then Black Witch effect that goes sent. Yeah, so I can go set Wanted. What are they trying to do here? Are they trying to Jut Synchron into a Savage before they keep going? Force the opponent to drop the other rock, and then we just Divine Temple, summon out Flame Burge, and then just win? Or get hit with like... Hmm. But I guess if we make the Savage... I was going to say, if we make the Savage, we still have to be able to go for game next to it. It's literally his DB name. Yeah, I mean, hey, I don't know if people have YouTube channels until they tell me. Like, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there. But they're going to access code, go pop. Okay, so it's just the voiceless voice trap. But I'm just saying, like, it's surprising because normally people will ask if I can shout out their YouTube channel. I mean, I always do it. So I, I'm just saying it's like it's surprising that they, they didn't. Because, like, you know, if you supply me with replays, you know, obviously I got to give you the shout out. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be whack about it. I'm not going to be like, oh, you're stealing my viewers if I give you a shout out. I don't, I don't care. Like, it's fine. But okay, pomp, pomp. So I got to stop misplaying, like, right now. Yeah. If, you better not say battle phase here. You better not say battle phase right now. Because Sean Killian's been throwing. That's not game. That's not game, Gabe. So summon out. Okay. Did they mess up? It, wait. No, I mean... I mean, they can just sync around, right? So it's like... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely don't use Flame Bridge effect. Okay, that's game. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Going on to game three, Sean Killian, you got to stop misplaying, bro. Simple as that. You got to stop misplaying. You just got to gotta focus up, dial in, get this bread, all right? I, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. So they definitely should have just gone for Savage there, right? With Black Witch plus Jet Synchron. Yeah, because, I mean, they had the Druid Worm to extend, which is what we were looking for. And then even if we get hit with Imperm Nib, we play through it, which is, like, worst-case scenario is they have Imperm Nib, right? Well, I guess worst-case scenario is Imperm Nib Ogre for Field Spell, but that's just not real. Yeah, that's just not real. So now, on to the next game now. We will go ahead and see Bill Way go first. We know they play Psalm Strike. They play Branded Cards. But it's also voiceless voice, right? They, they've drawn decently good so far. That game, they didn't. That game, they didn't draw too good. But they did draw Imperm Nib Diviner. And then voiceless voice trap. I wonder what the other cards in their hand were. Because at no point did they try to activate trap to shuffle back and go summon. So was it like... Diviner... 
Diviner, 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 Diviner low. Maybe a Tierras in hand or Triaz in hand that they couldn't activate because they got hit with Strike. That definitely could be the case. It'd be unfortunate though. But, okay, now going on to game number three. Activate Queen Effect, Ash. I said, I said it before they dropped it. I said it before they dropped it. I said it before they dropped it. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I opened three Diviners, Double Econ, and Drew Droplet for my sixth card yesterday. I mean, that's, uh, oh, Lightning Storm 2? I was gonna say, depending on what they end on, I mean, that's actually not, I wouldn't say it's good, but I mean, it, it, it could be, it could work, it could work. But okay, Lightning Storm pop back row, they change, shuffle back, go bring out the Sararvis, okay. Oh my god. God, it was strike plus the trap too. Okay, so now they just gotta play through old man into Sararvus plus a potential hand trap. But having Ash plus Lightning Storm there is huge. Said so yeah, killed them that turn. You killed them that turn? Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Wait, what'd you econ steal? Actually, I don't, I don't, oh my gosh, Sean Killian, okay, okay, all right, my bad, my bad, bro, my bad, my bad, brother, you're good, bro, you're good, bro, you're good, my bad, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to say that your time of reigning supreme over Iron Man's was over, I meant to say that, you know, you're a really good duelist, and I appreciate your gameplay, and uh, good luck in game three, my bad, my bad, my bad, but go ahead, Poplar, Poplar, go ahead, Grab out Divine Temple. Sure, sure, sure. Said Flame Burge. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's tough, though. That's tough. If my opponent drew Triple Diviner and I got OTK'd, I'd be mad. <laughs> I'd be signing the drop on the match slip, and I would go hit up the closest bar. Nope, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But okay, activate Divine Temple. Go ahead, spell Trap Zone now. You know, asking the opponent, you know, response. I mean, they do have old man on field that can go ahead, tag out, and go summon out Sararvus. But that is fine, they said. Okay. Well, the thing is, like, the Sararvus doesn't actually do anything, like, realistically. If they tag out now, then they just flame bird spell traps on the ritual. So they can't tag out. So this is either... This just isn't going to work ever, right? As an interruption. It just works as a way to try to not die. That feels bad. Because if it doesn't work as an interruption and it works as a way to just not die, then there's a good chance that Sean Killian can play through the potential rock in hand and beat what they have on field. So they can almost just win the game already. Unless... Do we see, like, Ash? Like, a, like an Ash Blossom on this. That that could be pretty good. Potentially turn ending. Does not seem like it though. Okay. Yeah, that's going to go through there. Bring out Flame Birds from hand. Yeah, I almost feel like we're just going to go Battle Phase Beat Over. Maybe use that to spell Trap Zone that to get that out of play. Yeah, I feel like they yeah, beat over and then do that. Or they just try to go for a game. But I don't... I don't see game yet. I don't see game yet. Okay, so beat over, attack for 18. Sure, that's fine. And then... Main phase 2. I guess we don't have to use Flame Burge. I guess we could just go IP, Flame Burge, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge. Nah, don't Spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge. Spell Trap Zone, Poplar, or Ash. And then you have Princess to summon back out Flame Burge. If they do drop Rock, then you, you at least have a couple bodies. But they don't 
do anything though, cause you don't have any attributes. Said yes, yeah, GGs. It's almost GGs. Almost. It's like Sean Killian could mess up though. We have seen them mess up a couple times in this Iron Man. Like if they do, then there's definitely still a chance. I guess you could. I don't know. I really, I really want to flame bridge target the queen in their graveyard. It's gonna be so hard for them to actually play next turn if that's gone. I guess the thing is that card doesn't do anything, right? Like realistically, the queen in graveyard doesn't do anything. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Okay, but they do do that there. I was gonna say, well, realistically, like that doesn't actually do very much. But they go ahead out that, make IP, and then Flame Burge Poplar. We could also just, I was going to say, we could also just spell just Trap Zone, Flame Burge, summon back out, make Link Karibo pass. We could also just do that, and that's probably just enough to win. Especially if we have a non-engine card, because if we have like an extra extender in hand, then we could have played this differently. Okay. Okay. Makes Appalooza. Sure. That's, that's okay. Set a back row. Then pass. Okay, so that's most likely imperm. Could also just be a bluff, but... Kinda doubt it. Unless it's like another lightning storm. Yeah, they're gonna say next account is... Oh, GG's. Wow, wow, wow. I literally thought this Iron Man was over. It's just not. It's just not. Next is Franco Persano. They brought two voiceless voice decks to the Iron Man. Wouldn't IP and the other two bodies not be better there? I think this is fine. Like going for Apo. I guess it depends like what else they have, you know? Depends what else they have. But, okay, okay. We... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to watch the replay again because I lost a little bit of the Iron Man last time. Yeah, they're joining up quick. Franco Persano has been playing voiceless voice an absurd amount. Another player that has topped regionals playing the deck. <laughs> Just a team of voiceless is wild. Or... Or they make them think it's a team of voiceless because it's Franco Persano. Nope, they're playing 43. Okay, yep. A team of voiceless voice versus a team of pure snake eye. So they they have to genuinely believe it's the best deck then, right? If they're pulling up with a team full of it in an Ironman where they're putting up $100 a head. Kind of crazy, but okay. Activate Branded Fusion. Do we see Ash Blossom? Nope. It's not bad to Ash, right? Because it is Mirror Jade plus Foolish Burial. But that's also only if they have Ash. I feel like if you have Ash and that's their first play, you definitely Ash it, even if you know it's Voiceless. Is Voiceless uh, usually 43 cards? Um, not always. Like, you'll definitely see, like, the deck bounce between, like, 40 and 43. It doesn't really get more than that, though. You can't really tell what people are playing if they're playing like 41, 42 cards right now. Because there's also like some Kashira Snake Eye builds that are playing a few extra cards in the deck. So, that kind of sucks a little bit. But, it's whatever. It's whatever. But I, I, I just know it's voiceless because it's Franco Persanio. And he plays voiceless. And his teammate before this played 43. So if they're both playing 43 cards and this player is known for playing voiceless, then I just have to assume it's voiceless. But they're going to search Sir Arvis there. Queen. Tributes. Okay, I was going to say Tribute Skull Guardian. But yeah, Tribute Skull Guardian. Bring out Skull Guardian. Skull Guardian low. Special. Go search. Hmm. So that's definitely just bring out barrier. Barrier into trap. Skull Guardian into Old Man into Shuffle Back Summon. I feel like it's probably the uh, best deck to play versus Snake Eyes. 
You think Voiceless is the best deck to play against Snake Eyes? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I wouldn't say Voiceless has like an overly good Snake Eye matchup or anything. I think it's like fine, especially... You know, I mean, if you win the dice roll and you get to go first, it's like a lot better too. But I, I think I'm like, as like a Snake Eye player, I think I'm like fine playing against Voiceless Voice. I, I'd rather play against Voiceless Voice than something like a, like a Runic Stun deck. Like that deck can hurt pretty bad. Oh, only deck slash person I watched all format is Nightfall. Nightfall is just actual entertainment. I could watch Nightfall replays all day. I've actually watched Nightfall replays a lot. Like, even without recording, I've definitely, like, or even ones I've posted, I've, like, rewatched over them. Just to see why things were done the way they were. Because it's so interesting. I'm a, I'm a big branded fan. It's a deck that has a lot of, like, interactive gameplay. Besides Puppet. Besides that, a lot of interactive gameplay. Okay, so... Yeah, that's just grabbing rock. Rock plus an unboard is pretty good. Now, uh, Nightfall does uh, something I would never have thought of every game. <laughs> they do, you do be playing the deck nice. I'll say that. They do be playing the deck very nice. I like watching good branded players. The deck is deep, too. Like, there's a lot too branded. Okay, they set up back row, too. So that's just the trap, right? Yeah, they have Skull Guardian. Old Man in the Sir Arvis, Mirror Jade, Trap, Nib. Those are the guaranteed known cards. One unknown card. Wait, it's not an unknown card though, right? It's just Sir Arvis, so everything's known? Okay, so everything's known. Uh, Brain is just a fun deck. Every hand is a different end board or board break. Yeah, I like that deck a lot. For sure. If I had to like only play one deck... Oh... I wouldn't say if I only had to play one deck, I'd play that deck. But it's a good deck to, like, buy. Because, like, it's, it's probably not going to ever get hit too hard. Or at least for the time being, it doesn't seem like it's ever going to get too hard. Like, get hit too hard. Compared to, like, Snake Eye, which, like, we know that deck's going to be dead by the end of the year. Okay, so Mirror Jade. Dump. Banish. Sure. That's fine. I mean, Sean Killian has to be fine with that, right? I guess now they go, like, normal summon out Snake Eye, Ash, Effect. I don't know. Do you really Mirror Jade stop that? I guess it's that way you can keep Skull Guardian. I was going to say, because, like, it almost feels better to just, like, let them original bring out Skull Guardian, Negate, but then you start playing in the Talents more, but... Well, I guess if they just normal summon a blank here, then we can pop it. That's also only if they go for a blank. We could have chained Sir Arvis to Black Witch to go summon out a Sir Arvis. So that way our trap could be two pops if we needed it to. But okay. Can Sean Killian beat this now? They discarded Rock for Black, which that card's not live. Okay. Talons. Uh, take, Force Negate. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. You definitely negate that, right? What? Okay, I guess bring out... What? 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 Am I tripping? Hold on. Hold on. Am I in drugs? I have to be, right? They're thinking in response. They have Droplet or Ash? I mean, you can't, you don't want Ash, right? Because then they Skull Guard you and negate that. I'm so confused. Because, like, what do you take? Do you take Skull Guardian? And then, like, or, like, what was Franco Personio's thought process? They wanted to play around another Talons, but, like, now you don't have Skull Guardian the gate anyways. Wait. Huh? Am, am I dumb? They didn't... 
Now he just takes low. I mean, they. I don't even know. Do they play triple skull guardian? I guess. I mean, I guess you know they summon before we take, so we get to find out. But like, they're definitely stopping Ash now, right? I do not know what they're thinking. Holy, what is going on in their Iron Man call right now? <laughs> what is going on in the Iron Man call right now? So I feel like whatever is happening is uh very questionable. Yeah, and the opponent just gave them a free Skull Guardian negate that they should not have had. So it summons out Sir Arvis. But I guess if they negate that, then you just take... Yeah, no. Yeah, like, that's fine. Yeah, you definitely drop Ash. You definitely drop it. Because if they Skull Guardian in the gate, that's fine. We just take the Sir Arvis now. Sure. So they said anything on Rez? Think. So do they go trap, pop Sir Arvis, pray they don't have a normal summon? But we know that they have Nib. I guess they're just strictly playing for follow-up since they have rock in hand. But yeah, they said fine to that. You are good to continue. So, ha, normal summon out Snake Eye Ash effect. Okay, so Poplar, Divine Temple. Having the trap plus nib is kind of huge, though. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like the way they played that. I, I don't. I don't like the way they played that. Like I'm definitely putting my opponent on have two talents, right? Like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You definitely. I think you just put the opponent on have two talents there. Cause like the talents take the next talents has to look at hand the rip nib, and they go normal summon out snake eye ash and the pop lore. I guess that sucks a little bit there, but you still have Sir Arvis plus trap at the bare minimum, and that's like best case scenario if the opponent has two talents and a snake eye ash. Okay, but they do have to be able to play through rock there. Which is not going to be easy to do. What do they even make? Just Link Karibo? Yeah, Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell Traps on itself. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I, th I thought they were about to say something wild there. Hey, shout out to J Doobies for the sub. Been sub for two months now. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. We're out here. This is the last match of the Iron Man. Game one of the last match of the Iron Man. Whoever wins this match wins their team $200. It's $100 each. That's a, that's a lot of McChickens. That's a lot of McChickens. So you definitely don't want to mess this one up. Actually, that is a lot of McChickens. I want You know what? I want to run the math on that. How many McChickens is that? Uh, do that. Okay. So. Wait, wait, I guess I gotta do 100 divided by that. It's actually not that many make chickens. I guess it depends how many, or how much it costs where you're at too. But it's like only like 30 make chickens. That's still 30 make chickens. That's like multiple days worth of food. That's if you're getting McChickens. You could get other food, too. I don't know why I'm even talking about this that much. But, okay, okay, okay. So. Oh, they're thinking on res? Was it, okay, so Franco Persania is the one thinking here. Okay. Sure, they said that's fine. I was going to say, what would you even be thinking about? Because now they're just going to go, well, I guess you pop Snake Eye Ash, but then you know they have original, so you can't do that. I guess you could, because then the original bring out, and then you drop Rock. And then you win? Okay, they bring out Flame Burge. So if they use Flame Burge as 
a link material, then Nib goes crazy. And they have to use it as a link material. I guess they could go on the SP, target back row, force the trap out there to try to pop. Yeah, they have to summon back. So Nib will wipe the field. But we know that they have Divine Temple to try to play through it, but they haven't flipped it yet. Maybe they're scared the opponent will trap pop Divine Temple and then drop Rock. So maybe we use like Link Karibo, Sir Arvis to make SP target trap, force it, and then go Divine Temple. That sounds pretty good. Actually, yeah, it actually does sound pretty good there. Now you're putting your opponent on have like another non-engine card, right? Yeah, make that, banish, they chain the pop. If they target SP, it's like, fine. Wait, actually, is that fine? If they pop the SP and then you activate Divine Temple and then you have original Sun Flame Bridge to go bring out and then you get Flame Bridge effect to special summon out. It sounds like it's fine. Okay, we're just gonna make Nightmare Phoenix then. And then Nightmare Phoenix, Flame Burge. So, special back out. Pop the back row. Yeah, discards Divine Temple. Flame Burge, Chain Link 2. Yeah, the odds of them having Bell in their main deck is super low. So, chain, yeah, you're fine, Franco Persanio, to go ahead and chain there. I don't even think you have to pop now that they did it like this. Okay, but they do go ahead and pop original. It's probably more proper to pop than it is to search since they have like follow up. They get Nightmare Phoenix draw and they're gonna go drop rock. Oh my goodness. You can't draw. Oh yeah, we don't get to draw off this. Never mind. That is true. Did we, did we already. We had to have already had that in hand, right? Yeah, because it has to destroy to, to draw and this gets rid of itself. So yeah, they're gonna go ahead and put back. Yup. Wow. Had the cross out for the rock. Set stream lag for anyone else? Uh. I'll close out of the extra stuff in case if it is lagging. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It did lag a little bit. Well, that was an hour ago, is what it says for me. But yeah, I will close out of all the extra stuff in case if it is lagging because of that. But okay, 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 okay. So, cross out, stop that now. Now they're going to go ahead and make Promethean Princess. Uh-huh. So, wait. It's old, wait, no, we already know the hand. It's old man, Sir Arvis, and then Sir Arvis, and then Nib. So we know everything. So we can't go for World C, because then they negate Princess with the Sir Arvis hand effect. So they just can't try to go for that. They can't go for that. They said now nah, it's just game, no? Nah, nah, nah. It shouldn't be game. Unless if I'm somehow messing this up. Uh, I don't think so, though. Because, I mean... Wait. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, Black Witch did get banished. Okay. Yeah, if Black Witch wasn't banished, then... Yeah, you could just go for... Game. But now they're gonna make Raging Phoenix. Sure. And then make World C. World C effect. Banish, bring back out, force the opponent to use Sororvus, then we can out their field. Then we have SP to banish barrier, and then all they have is old man plus rock in hand, which don't which doesn't do anything. 
Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds like game to me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Cerevis. Shut that down. Sure. Sure. That's fine. Uh, we already... We already mirrored Jade, or we already flame burged onto mirrored Jade. So we don't have flame burge to target anything else. So we can't try to bring back something else, which is fine. I think it's just, it's, it's gonna be these two that make SP. Yeah, beat over the field, SP banish barrier. They have old man in hand that doesn't work. They have nib in hand that doesn't work. I, I mean, Franco Persanio messed up. I'm not going to lie. They messed up. They they didn't skull guardian and negate Talons. Cross out was the huge punish there. Post LED. Nah, th this, is, this is current format. This is current format. This is testing for YCS Raleigh. Well, not testing, I guess. But, I mean, it's like a, it's like an Iron Man, you know, they got like $100 a head up right now. But, for us, it's good gameplay to watch for YCS Raleigh. I don't see Franco winning this game unless they draw good. Sean Killian, I believe in you. I know you have the capabilities of saying battle phase make SP. Or is there another line? Am I missing another line? I don't know. I feel like it'd be fine. We have Princess in Graveyard to pop. We have Raging Phoenix to summon. We have Follow Up to bring back off of the Flame Burge. Uh, I was going to say Franco was EU lol. Yeah, but I mean, even if you're EU, doesn't mean... I mean, okay. Most likely he's not going to go to YCS Raleigh. But everyone else in this match is going... Or everyone else in this Iron Man is going to YCS Raleigh. And he could still go to YCS Raleigh. If you wanted to. But go ahead. Poke. Uh, we use the Flame Verge. Uh, sure. I mean, you get to keep the World Sea interruption live. But that's kind of... I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm definitely using... I'm definitely leaving Flame Verge there. For Princess. And you get you get the you get the steel mirror jade, you get princess to pop the summon, you get follow up, you can summon raging phoenix if you want to. But instead, we do this. I don't like it. I don't like it. But can the opponent beat it? Cause it's like, okay, I I didn't like that play at all. That play was actually not good. They had original in Graveyard though, right? So at least uh, they had to have. They had to have. Because you have to have guaranteed follow up there. Otherwise, you're just giving the opponent another turn potentially too. But okay. They admit defeat. Going on to the next game. Uh, when does LEDE drop? Uh, it drops at the end of the month. Uh, like April 27th or something like that. So are you dropping frames or is it me? Uh, it, it doesn't show the frames are dropping on my end. It could be, because I don't have great internet, but it doesn't, on my end, it, it's looking fine. Okay, on to the next game now. Uh, we get to see Franco Personio go first once again. It's at 26 out of 4. I don't even know what that is. Oh, 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 like the day it comes out. Okay, so it keeps lagging for me too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Internet's dog shit here. Shout out to Ohio. Webcam dropping frames. I don't care about the webcam dropping frames. That's fine. As long as the gameplay stays, the webcam doesn't matter. Audio's fine though. Okay, normal ad diviner. I, mean, I, I, I closed out of everything I could. There's nothing else I can close out of at this point. But summon diviner. Diviner effect go dump the tree ass. I only come here for webcam. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. The gameplay is too. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. 
Oh my gosh, please dump Trias. Or is it dump Herald of Arclight to go search? I don't know. Voiceless voice turn one is very simple. I'm not gonna cap. Not gonna cap. It's very simple. It's like IP, old man, trap, barrier, pass. Or if you draw a branded fusion, then it's like branded fusion. Uh, instead of doing that. I guess you don't have to go for old man IP if you're afraid of bestial. So they're gonna dump Herald of Arclight, but you might also give them a good opportunity to bestial this turn. So go Herald of Arclight, go search out for Skull Guardian. Sure. Then Ritual Spell, Queen, Something's coming up next. <laughs> you don't just do that if you don't have another play. Oh, okay. Activate Branded Fusion. So, that's going to now go ahead, dump the Trias and Fallen of Albes, summon out Mirror Jade, then Trias Contribute Diviner to bring out Low. Yeah, sounds about right to me. Or maybe you're thinking about going... Nah, it's definitely that, right? Or is it dump queen? You could queen tribute diviner plus something else. Because it's only level 6, so you need level 7. I wish I could just see the hands, man. I do. And I can't show the hands on stream. Like, if I wasn't streaming, I could just go in as judge and just peep the hands real quick. <laughs> Uh, I tried playing the branded variant. I swear I never draw a branded fusion. I don't know how people do it. I mean, even if you don't draw a branded fusion, as long as you don't draw Fallen of Albez, I mean, it's just, it is just pure voiceless, but it just has, like, three branded fusion in it. It's kind of like the Kashtira Snake Eye deck. If you only play three Unicorn, one Birth, it is just a pure Snake Eye deck. It just has, like, you know, three Unicorn in it. But they're going to go ahead and dump low fawn. Dumps low fawn of Albaz. Okay. I did not expect that one. So are we going Albion into Lubellion then? I don't know. I don't know. Banish. 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 Oh, wait. <laughs> That makes sense. Never mind. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Bring out Mirror Jude. Okay. So we have. Okay. Did not. I did not expect it to go this way. I'm not gonna lie. Activate the effects. I feel like if you're going to do a turn like this, I feel like you think the entire turn through and then go for the play. Because if th this is one of those turns where, like, if you make one minor mistake, you end on, like, multiple interruptions less than if you go for, like, a different combo. So, they... They leave the low engrave, sure. Bring out to go spell trap zone. Tributing Valor is just not the play. Yeah, it doesn't, it does. It definitely doesn't feel like that was the play. I'm letting them cook, because, like, they played really well before, but game one of this match, they did not play very great. And now this game, they also have me questioning their lines. So they bring out Trap. Sure, they bring out Trap. Yeah, they're going to go add, dump, sure, banish, tribute, special out, the Sir Arvis. We definitely just aren't summoning low, right? Yeah, I was going to say there's like no point there. Put back, go bring out old man. Okay, okay. So why do we even dump low? In the first place. I guess it's because like dumping this doesn't do anything if this is what we're planning on going for. 
But I almost feel like it's better to... I almost feel like it's better to not do that and keep Valor in hand. You just get to keep more follow-up and still have the interruption. But I guess this is more like removal interruption. So, Imperm on the Mirror Jade. Shut that down. Okay. Uh, why do these voiceless players have Brain Infusion glued to their hands? I don't know. I don't know. I wish they actually wouldn't draw it so we can see what combos they'd go for if they didn't have it. If they would try to go for IP or not. But okay, shut down Mirror Jade. I play a 17 card extra deck at locals and no one has noticed for weeks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and I don't know what to say, don't do that, I guess. I mean, you know, cheating is not good testing for actual events. Uh, there's definitely been time, like there was one time at locals, somebody had a 30 card side deck. They were just blatantly cheating. They were like, yeah, bro, I'm just holding on to the side deck for my friend. And it's like, okay, why is it in your deck box then? And why do you put your deck box like here and then side deck behind it? It's like, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Uh, is it lagging for anyone else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said it was lagging a little bit. But there's just nothing I can do about it. I closed out of everything. Blatant cheating lol mods. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day it's locals. So like, wait, they bring out a Skull Guardian? They don't even bring out a Sir Arvis? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, they were playing I like dog shit. What was that? There's no shot we bring out a second Skull Guardian. You could have had more follow-up in hand. Nah. We could have had more follow-up in hand. The same end board. End of Ailer. Like, what? Okay. Okay, so now they go activate Wanted Ghost Search. Grab out Black Witch. And, like, last game they played bad, too. Who letting this man cook? I don't know. I don't know what they're cooking, but it's burning, and it smells bad. It smells horrible in here, folks. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It be smelling kind of bad in here right now. So, wanted grab out Black Witch, said, I'll play three airlifter anyways in race. <laughs> true, true. It's like, oh, wait, Warlords is that one? Why didn't anyone tell me that? I didn't, I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? You think I checked the ban list before I come to Locals? Okay, now, summon. I mean, it's still not the easiest board to break. It's still not the easiest board to break. But they definitely messed up. Their brain is turned off. True. True. Their brain is definitely turned off. It also is really late for Franco Personio, but it's also an Iron Man. So, like, you have teammates that help you out. Because, like, right now, it's like... What, they're like six hours back? So it's like 5 a.m. It's like 5 a.m. for Franco Personio right now. So they may not be too much of a help for their team. But they still build way there. Still not late for him. It's like 10 for him. The deck I ran for going second voices voice for my region. I played three droplet. Uh, SP. What's SP? Econ, Talents, and then two Cosmic and Main. Oh, I obviously didn't watch the video on how to make a PB and J. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well. On to the next game. <laughs> they could have played that better, though. That was definitely just game. If I mean, even, even if they played it like that, they still don't lose. But, like, you could have had Valor on top of that. And more follow-up. But, okay, that's game. Super poly. Oh, 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 super poly, super poly. Okay, okay, okay. That's fair. I saw SP and I instantly thought about the extra deck monster. I didn't even think about super poly. I thought you meant SP. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But I was like, I don't know. I knew, I knew that wasn't right. Because, like, they named a bunch of main deck cards. <laughs> Droplets is a hell of a card. That card is, like, it's, like, good. It's not good enough most of the time. 
It definitely can break boards, though. Like, you're going to be shutting down multiple things. But then you're still going to get hit with multiple things. And hand traps. I don't know. And testing, like, I feel like droplets lets you break most of the board. But it doesn't, like, auto-win you the game. You, have, you definitely have to have other things. I use droplet for avoiding hand traps and breaking boards. Yeah. Like... Yeah, I don't know. I've t everyone I test against has been playing droplets. Literally everybody's been playing droplets that I've been testing against. So I've learned how to like beat it better now too. And 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 specifically droplets, talents. I know how to play against that very well. No matter what end board I make, I know exactly what I need to do. I know how many bodies I need to summon, so that way if they go, like, talents, take a body, beat over a body, I still have, like, princess live after the droplet, stuff like that. Like, dark ruler, or dark ruler no more, as shifter doesn't stop it. Uh, I don't even know what that means. Dark, uh, wait, I like, oh, wait, I like dark ruler no more, as shifter doesn't stop it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know. Droplet. It is kind of nice though, because like you can hit IP like in the middle of the chain. Because like if you start your turn with Dark Ruler, they still have like Divine Temple to summon out IP, and they have Princess and then Hand Traps. But okay, okay, they're gonna go Poplar, Search Divine Temple. So that means they have Black Witch or Original in the hand right now. Sean Kelly and the King of Money matches right now, or what? Yeah, oh, the King of Money, or Iron Man's, the King of Iron Man's. He has been killing it in Iron Man's recently. I hate Snake Eyes, stupid deck, unlimited gas, stupid stinky, Master Duel, cringe, stupid fucking deck. <laughs> master Duel, what? Nah, you did not just call this a Master Duel deck. This is a TCG deck. It was here first, baby. You can call Runic Stun a Master Duel deck, because that deck has been on there forever. But I don't know, I, I think the deck is like a little bit toxic, but I don't know. I mean, it should obviously be hit. I don't think it should be killed, though. I mean, drop it over Dark Blue no more, since it's still useful going first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely useful going first. Also depends, like, what you end on. Well, I guess for Voiceless Voice, it's not as useful going first as it is for Snake Eye. But stuff definitely still works. Doesn't it come out in Master Duel in a few days before TCG? Uh, they didn't have, like, the full deck. They didn't have the full deck. And also, we tested Snake Eye, like, months before it even came out over there. Like, months before. Like, when the ban list dropped in December... Everybody started playing Snake Eye instantly right away. Current format was dead. Because there was just no events for it. Besides for the Latin American remote YCS. I play Vanquish Soul and I'm getting out grinded by people who just click buttons. I hate Snake Eye. Okay, Divine Temple will go bring out. Sure. The deck was almost solved before it came out. I wouldn't say that, because everyone was playing Fire King. Like, everybody was playing Fire King. Like, Pure Snake Eye was just seen as not the good version. It was seen as the worst version between the two. And now it's like, Fire King is definitely the worst version between the two. And the Snake Eye Pure build is definitely better. Instead of playing whack cards like Garunix and Ponix, you have Crossout and Hand Traps. Like, that just sounds crazy. I'm just trying to let the Snake Eye cards go through. Thoughts on Tenpai? I don't know. I, I haven't tested LEDE yet. Seems cool. But it doesn't seem like the deck I would want to play. Choosing to go second sounds crazy. And your opponent makes you go first. That's even crazier. Uh, bro, did you see the branded list from uh, the YCS? I did not. I did not. Actually, maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't think so, though. I haven't looked over, like, everything from that yet. Because there was still more, still more lists coming in. Uh, it was nobody was on Oak or Temple. Everyone was playing Droll, Nib, and Board Breakers instead of Optimal cards. Yeah, nobody was on Temple at the beginning. In the Fire King build. People weren't even on Oak at the beginning. Like, the very first tournament that there was. 
And then people realize, like, nah, you have to play that card. That card's broken. Uh, Camaro, Horus, Branded. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw that. But that's, that's not a Branded list. Come on, now that was a Chimera list. Is Watts still any good? Yes, yes. Watts are the best deck. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Oh, uh, the Fire King version is just clear, though. Why, why I'm sticking with that. I don't know. I think the pure build is more cool, to be honest. It's the harder build to play, though, too. I think I think the Fire King build is, like, it's, like, so easy to play. It's turn one. It's unbelievable. I guess it's, like, it's the same for Snake Eye, but I feel like it, the learning curve is harder for Snake Eye than it is Fire King. Okay. So we didn't end on a very good end board there. We have Divine Temple, Summon Oak, get follow-up, and then IP, and then maybe hand traps. So activate Pot of Prosperity. Bro, I really wish it would stop lagging, bro. Double voiceless insane. I don't know. I really wish it would stop lagging. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. What? Okay. They're going to go ahead and banish... And then look at the top cards. I don't know. I'll try solving it tonight. Maybe it's just like my PC. Because I downloaded Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty's free for the weekend. So I was like, sure, I'll download it. Obviously, I'm never... I, I'll be honest. I'm never, ever spending money to buy a video game. I'm never doing that. There's infinite free video games out there. I don't need to spend money to buy a video game. So I got COD because it was free. Maybe that maybe that's why, cause it it was like a hundred gigabytes, but I mean I'm deleting it, like tonight, cause it like it's not free anymore. I started main decking prohibition for these stupid cards. Yep yep yep. Maybe you should uh start signing up for the side events already. Ja 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 ja. But okay, look at the top six. Uh, so we see pre prep there. That's pretty good. Probably put the rest back to the bottom. Get pre prep. I'd have to assume, but it, I mean, I guess if they don't have anything else, then it's just grab low. But if they don't have anything else, they just lose to IP. Yeah, we'll find out. Franco Fresanio needs to just simply not mess this up. That is it. Gosh, I... Hey, shout out to Raisin. Or wait, that's not how you say that. Ray, Ray, Son. Wait, God, bro, I'm not good at saying names. I can't even cap. I know who you are, though. I know who you are, though. Thank you for the raid, though. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, yes. Yeah, we're out here watching this Iron Man right now. This is the last match and last game in an Iron Man. So, whoever wins this game will walk away with $100 a person. Whoever loses, whoever loses this game loses $100 a person. Sean Killian messed up a lot in the first match. Then uh, Franco Persanio has messed up a lot in this match. But now we're in game three now. So, you know, it's really anybody's game. But, you know, it's like one of those things, Iron Man's, where people take forever. Like, this has been like two minutes on resolving a pot of prosperity. Kind of OD, I'm not going to lie. Hey, shout out to the Wasp King 0 for the follow. Thank you. I appreciate you. So they're going to grab Barrier there. Okay. And then also the stream's lagging a little bit. Uh, I have uh, bad internet. Yep. Oh, my God. Drops Droll and Lockbird. That's crazy there. Barrier shut down now. So much of their deck won't work. Droll is so good against Voiceless. Normal summon out diviner, diviner effect, go dump. Said it's over. It's not it's not looking good for them. It's not looking good for them. Um, but Diviner's a good summon there. They could still have like branded fusion too. If they left it in. Uh which I don't think they would, but maybe. Uh Diviner, Chain Link 1, Divine Temple, Chain Link 2, Summon out Oak. And then Diviner gets to go ahead and resolve dump. They said, I exist. Hi, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? 
It's not over. It's Jover. That's just that's just so much more rough having to be Jover. I uh, I want the Watts to win. Valor lol. It's looking like it's over. I'm not gonna lie. It's looking like it's over. I don't see Franco Persano playing through this very well. Unless they just have like the god hand the play around roll. Battle. Econ? Is it yeah, it's just Econ, right? Oh, this deal Magma. Okay, sure, sure, sure. That's a lot that's that, that's more boring, but sure, that's fine. Banish, special, uh, I mean, declare the effect, because you can. Yeah, but that's not actually going to grab anything, because we'll be under draw. And I doubt we're going to be putting a dragon in our graveyard to add back, so now beat over IP. Okay. I mean, Pot of Prosperity, probably, I don't know what's in their extra deck. If they, I mean, if they still have, like, Excel in the Baron, like, you know, Excel in the Baron doesn't sound bad there. Because then you have a pop and a negate. That sounds good. But also at the same time, they probably got rid of that if they even play it. They are playing the branded build. Said, hello, I hope you're doing well. What's up, what's up? Also, my name is Justin, not Austin, with a J. God, yes. But now... May oh god, what do they make here, right? There's no shot at Excel. There's no shot at Excel. There's no shot. So what else are we making? Are we making a Dark Charmer go take IP to make an SP on their turn? We actually have it in the extra deck. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would. Thank you for proving me wrong, Franco Personio. Okay, so now they're gonna go ahead, use those, make Baron. Baron effect to go pop. This is good, though. This is definitely better than a lot of the other things it could have been. Uh, new Tenpai cards. I think they can go first now. It's Jover. Yeah, but those Tenpai cards won't come out until, like... I don't even know when. A long time from now. A long time from now. Because the other Tenpai, like the new Tenpai cards, they don't even come out until the end of the month. Which is, like, post both YCSs. It'll be there for Nationals and YCS Indie. But I wonder if the other support will be. I don't think it does, though. Uh, holy bad dragon. They excel? That we started saying Austin, question mark. Okay, now they're going to go Baron, Pop Oak. Yup, sure. Usually four to six months since they announced an OCG. Well, what, what set was it announced for? Because we might already have the set announced. That's what I was wondering. Because I know there's a set that comes out like right before Nats. Also, they have to resolve. I'll tell them. Yep. Yeah, just let them know. I mean, it's just put this back, right? Like, it's not actually going to change anything. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, so they're going to go ahead, banish. I mean, you got to do it, right? You got to do it. It's not it's not gonna matter. I highly doubt it's gonna change the game. But if anything that's helping Franco Persanio there. Cause it could come up where like they end up putting back Baron and then making Excel again. That'll come up. But hey, shout out to Booty Squirrel for the follow and Sha Ba thirteen for the follow. Thank you, thank you. It's so now activate original to go search. It said original is fine there. Okay. So they could have more hand traps. They have Baron. Potential more hand traps. The set is Infinite Forbidden. Comes out April 27th in OCG. Infinite Forbidden. Wait. 
I think that's the set that comes out right before Nats. Unless if I'm tripping. I guess I'll just look it up. Yu Gi Oh! Product. And then let me let me let me look real quick. No shot it takes me to an OCG website. I don't want OCG, I want real Yu-Gi-Oh. Come on now. Okay. And then products. Uh so click on this. Just trying to see. New ten pie cards. Yeah, yeah. I was told. Um okay, so it comes out uh it is out for Nats. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, those cards are out for Nats. Yep, that comes out the weekend of Nationals. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. So Tenpai might be real for NAWCQ. So, I don't know. I mean, a ban list is definitely coming out before then. So like new cards plus a ban list. I don't know, I can't wait to see what we cook. Can't wait to see what gets cooked up. People are saying Tenpai can go first now. We'll find out. Can anyone share the link to the new Tenpai? Oh. Um, uh, it's probably just on Twitter, to be honest. Or just look up, like, YGO Organization. That's really all you gotta do. Because they're probably the ones that shared it. Uh, I'm just going off Google Translate on the image of the cars, but the trap is funny. I gotta ask my buddy to translate it. He helped me with that before. I forget which video it was, but I translated the cards and got them up instantly. Before the before it was even translated on YGO organization, I already had the cards translated translated and the video was up before the translations even came out. It's in Japanese, the translation are in Discord groups for now. Yeah 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 yeah. My my buddy, he knows. Japanese and stuff like that so he can he can translate it but I mean I, it's not gonna matter right by the time it would even matter the translations would probably already be out a hey, shout out to LL Oxus for the follow thank you thank you so now they're gonna go SP Poplar so that Baron is outed yep I mean they can chain Baron to stop Poplar and then they start playing in the town slow but they didn't have talents last turn, so they would have had to draw for turn. So I actually wouldn't hate using Baron on Poplar there. I guess it depends on their hand though, if they're going to do that or not. Uh, normal trap card, you can only use... Okay, once per turn, during either player's main phase, or during either main phase... If you only control fire dragon monsters and your opponent controls more monsters than you do and the main phase. Ha. <laughs> nah, that's kind of crazy. Uh, three more monsters have declared an attack this turn. Banish card from your graveyard. Draw one. Then you can summon any number of tenpai dragon monsters from your hand. Ha. Huh. That is... Maybe good? I don't know. I don't actually know the deck that well yet. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds like it can help the deck going first. Like, if they're forced to go first, they actually have something to go for. So, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. So, I think you didn't put anything back for OG, right? Double checking. They said, yeah. I didn't. Okay. That's fair. I didn't even notice there's... Taking a while to do that. I mean, yeah, sure. Put something back. So it lagged out and forgot, I guess. Okay. So they said, all good. Sure. So just put back. Then, okay. Now, SP. Poplar. Try to out Baron. They can chain Baron to stop Poplar from spell trap zoning. Not gonna lie, still loses to a threatening roar, lol. Yeah, but who, who's gonna... Like, who's gonna play that, you know? Uh, you can attribute a click effect to special summon other Tenpai from deck. Okay, so... What's Poplar's target? Oh my god, are you kidding me? You're gonna Baron stop it. Don't lie to me right now. 
You for you for sure stop this. Unless if you're really trying to play around talents as the top deck that much. And at that point, if you're playing around every card, every play, that just sounds bad. That just sounds bad to play around every card, every play. Unless if they have, like, rock in hand. That's the only way, right? Is if they have rock. And they're trying to hit the opponent with rock. So that way they can't talents rip. Said, hey, yo, great streamer. What's up, what's up? Nah, I'm not a great streamer. You know why? Because my internet hates me. My internet is dog shit. So the stream is lagging, and I can't do anything about it. Uh, well done on your live streaming. Well, thank you, thank you. But the internet thing does make me mad. That, I'm not going to lie. There's very few things in this life that makes me mad. Bad internet, that's up there. That is up there. If I play DB, I'm not. It's happened many times. If I'm on DB playing, and the internet goes down, and I have to start playing DB on my phone, bro, I get so angry. It's crazy. And the thing is, I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna break something. Like I don't want to break something, cause then then I gotta pay for it. So it's like then it's like double L's. So then I just gotta like I punch my desk or I punch myself, cause like my desk, I know my desk can take a punch. I don't punch it that hard. I don't punch it that hard. I, I just need I just need a little bit of ah, you know. Okay, so they drew Psalm Strike for a turn. So discarded special back out. Is it Spectrum question mark? Uh, I can't leak. Can't leak. So it's fine, man. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I wish. I wish it was as simple as that. But Jet Plus SP now. Link off. Sure. Princess effect, bring out Snake Eye Ash, drops rock, yup, I mean, it, it was like almost guaranteed, right, if they didn't Baron Pop Lord, it's because they want to play around Talents to look at hand, but now we're just gonna go Divine Temple, Summon Pop Lord, like, oh my god, there's just no shot, like, I, I Baron that Pop Lord 10 out of 10 times there, you just give the opponent a free body, guaranteed, it's like, what are the odds they draw Talents, right? Like, okay, they have 32 cards in deck, 3 talents in deck. The odds are so low. The odds are so low. Now they get to make Dark Charmer. Does that even... Oh, they do have a Bestial. Okay. That should be fine, though. What do they even make after this? Um... I don't even know. Okay. Bestial Magma would affect. Sure. Do they have another card in hand that can allow them to play? Because we know Song Strike was the draw for turn. I kind of doubt it. Franco cooked up a stinky game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the way they've been playing this. They, mu they must be tired or something. How long have you been into this? Like this Iron Man? This Iron Man's only been around for like two hours now. Literally the second the stream started, game one started. Yo. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Sean Killian. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> oh no. That was so bad. I was wondering what they were cooking. I thought about Celine and that's why I checked the graveyards and there wasn't enough spells. No. They're fumbling so bad right now. I, I doubt they're going to be able to play through this very well. Wait. <laughs> There's no shot I got to keep messaging these people on their mistakes. Yeah, okay. I was about to tell them. Magnum, let's search. Yeah, it's just grabbing like a flame burge. But you can discard that off like a Nightmare Phoenix or something later on and have it work. 
Celine for two counters. Yeah, Celine for two counters is OD there. Activate barrier. Okay, we knew they had that. We know that they had that. They searched the last turn off Pot of Prosperity. Then activate it to go search anything on resolution. I don't know. Okay. Well, I guess it depends. I'm going to say what they have in hand depends on what they search because I was going to say, I feel like the read of the draw isn't even that hard. Like, it almost seems obvious that they have draw in hand. So it's like, if you have something that works with the trap, then low is really good. Otherwise, you just grab, like, the queen and put them on better have drool. So now, activate. I mean, we have... Okay, sure. Bring out travel. I can say we have SP set up, too, if we really need it. Oh, activate the effect. Put back the ritual spell. Go summon. That's just game. That is just game. So now they can go battle, poke. Wait. Uh, yeah, there's no shot they have game there. Okay. A uh, guy in Dallas Regional summons Selene under Apple and tried to use the effect. Oh. Oh, uh, wait. That's just not game. Wait. Wait. No, that is game. I did the math wrong. I did the math wrong. I was doing it backwards. I was doing minus a thousand, not plus a thousand there. That's just game. Wow. Good night, well played. <laughs> Hits them with a well played? A well played? Nah, that's... <laughs> you can't hit them with a... A well played is crazy there. They could have kept Princess alive. Or something. Nah, that's actually so sad. And now Sean Killian finally has lost an Iron Man. He loses $200 there to Franco Persanio in Bill Way. Finally lost an Iron Man. Finally lost an Iron Man. You know what? It's still crazy because he's still up a band. Still up a band in the last like two months. Still up a band. Or not, not two months. Two weeks. Two weeks. Still up a band in the last two weeks. But that's got to hurt knowing that like... You threw game one, like match one, and you threw match three. Like, you only lost twice and you threw both of them. That's got to feel horrible. Toxic grinder, best grinder. Ah, uh, how was I the toxic one? I'm not the one who said, GG, good night, well played. <laughs> I'm just a commentator, bro. I'm just a commentator. I'm just a commentator. That's all I'm doing. I'm just commentating what I'm seeing. I'm just commentating what I'm seeing. Could a Konami commentator commentate the way I commentate? No. 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 Said so you're always toxic? Well, you're always stupid. Now what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that one. Take that one. Didn't didn't expect that one. Now did you, Super Poluto? Said, what was the play after Nib, though? I mean, okay. So, it depends what they have in... Well, I guess we knew they had Drool in hand, right? So, the play was to just pass. Divine Temple summon Poplar pass like they if that's all they can do then you have princess live at least and if they go battle phase you live and then if they attack over poplar poplar spell trap zone snake eye ash if they summon divine temple to summon it and then you get the search but i guess you draw so then you, then you spell traps on this instead either way you 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 do something better right you don't die you don't die you have a little bit more follow-up so some, something something could have been done differently. Dog, you showcased the runic print kid deck against the stun deck. Saw no print kid plays. Huh? Doodle was summoned five times in that match. Five That's five more Doodle summons than you've seen in the last year. Don't lie to me now. Don't lie to me now. Konami employees can pronounce card names properly. Okay, well, Konami employees don't even know how to do Snake Eye combo. If I hand a Konami employee Snake Eye Ash plus Black Witch, I guarantee they fumble the bag 9 out of 10 times. Actually, scratch that. Give them a harder combo. No, I don't even want to give them a harder combo. You know, give them just Snake Eye Ash. I bet you they can't even play that properly. I bet you they end on, like, something dumb. I bet you they don't even end on Apo. 
or or hand them something hard. Hand them Blackwitch Valor Cross Out. They ha they will fumble under pressure. They will say, "How is this combo different than if you open Blackwitch plus Valor?" Exactly. They don't know how to play the deck. They don't know how to play the deck. Most people don't know how to do that combo though. But I feel like if you're a commentator, you gotta you gotta know the combos, right? You gotta know the lines. You got to. You got to. It's your job at that point, right? I don't know. But, okay. That is going to be it for the Iron Man. I'm going to go ahead and raid somebody now. I'm going to stop talking bad on Konami commentators. Not all of them are bad. Like, Asala's good. Farf was a good commentator. He's a good commentator. I don't know the names of all the commentators either. But Farf was a good commentator. He, he would definitely fumble under the pressure, though, if I handed him that combo, though. I know he wouldn't know how to do it, but it doesn't make him not a good commentator. Uh, I was going to raid Pack, but he is playing something wild. So instead, I'm going to raid someone else. <laughs> I'm going to raid someone else. I've also raided Pack a lot recently, so I guess i got to spread the love around a little bit more, you know? Always gotta raid somebody, though. Uh, I mean, wasn't Nesh supposed to top YCS's lol? Uh... I, I, I mean, <laughs> he's not even a comment. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? He's not even a commentator. He's not even a commentator. So, uh, Luffy TV, nine OP fan, I'm out. Yeah, bro, th this dude here is One Piece, and he says, Nah, bro, I, I gotta go watch, uh... I became a Batwoman in a dungeon, and that turned me into a monster, but it's okay because I love women. Yeah, I I know what you be watching, Super Pluto. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Ness catching strays is crazy. Yeah, come on now. We got to take that back. Ness, Ness is cool. Ness is cool. He, he, he's cool. He's a very cool guy. Come on now. But okay, I'm going to go ahead, send y'all over to the Luffy TV now. They're playing One Piece. Yeah, look at, look at all that. Come on, come on, come on. Let, let's put a heart there. Come on. And also, wait, 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 before we go, before we go, when you get there, I want you to put some capybara emojis in chat. We haven't done that in a while, so if you're following, then you get the capybara emojis for free. That's not a plug, by the way. You don't have to follow if you don't want to. But, okay, I'm going to send y'all over there now. So, peace. Have a nice night. Oh my gosh, shout out to Grave Soul for the sub. I gotta, I gotta send the raid now, but thank you for the sub. I really do appreciate you. Thank you very much for that. But, alright, I'm going to go ahead and leave now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, bye, bye.